Orange Skin presents a number of interesting garnish opportunities because really anytime we use the skin of, of a citrus fruit, we're looking for the flavors that we get from the oil. Orange, is, orange oil adds a really nice round component to different types of cocktails, and there's different ways to get there. So let's talk about a couple of them. Okay, so now I've got these nice dials, and these are really easy to use. What I'm going to end up doing is just popping it, getting that oil to express over the glass, and at the same time, light it up. I'm just going to take my wood match. Light it up, and then I'm allow the oils to just heat up a little bit. I don't want to go right over top of the drink because you can burn it, and it actually adds a, a component to the cocktail that you don't want. But it, it's a little bit of flame and a pop, you get that nice, beautiful expression. So the oils are going into the drink, but I'm also getting that nice, exciting look that really looks cool. You can do this a couple times over a drink, and usually what you'll do is pop it and then discard the peel itself. That idea is what you're doing is you're taking the oils and instead of just getting fresh oils, you get this nice round caramelized type of flavor. Adds a nice characteristic to the cocktail. Looks really cool. Obviously, that's one that's going to take a little bit of practice, but it's really straightforward. Cut your dials, light them up, and just practice a little 45 degree angle, expressing and lighting those oils so that they go over top of the cocktail. All right, so we've got the soap powered boat here. Here's the soap down here. Here's the boat. We'll just get a little dab of this on the end of the fork. Just like that. Put the boat into the water and just drop it on the end of the So where's the magic? Well, I have air inside this room and I have air inside this bottle. And actually, if I put my finger over the hole and tried to blow the balloon up, I wouldn't be able to because the air inside the bottle is actually pressurized and it's taking up space and I can't do that. But what's cool about air pressure is I can get the air in this room to blow up this balloon by removing the air inside the bottle. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to suck it out. I can actually blow up a balloon by sucking by inhaling. It blows my mind just thinking about it. So this might look a little strange and odd to the camera, but I'm actually going to put my mouth over this hole and suck in a short, quick burst. It's weird, but check out what happens. You'll see the balloon inflate because the pressure in the, in the room is actually going from high to low pressure. And now I put my finger over the hole and the balloon, check this out, there's nothing. Many of you already know how simple a homemade battery can be. Today I'm going to show you how to make the simplest battery that lights an LED. For this project you will need one or more lemons and one LED. You can use any small LED you have, but not all lemons will work. My research shows that yellow lemons do not provide enough power to light a single LED, 
while small green lemon is capable of powering up to three LEDs. You can use your lemon battery as a night light or a simple flashlight. While there is citric acid inside the lemon, it will provide power. My tests showed running times of up to 5 days. You can even cut your lemon in half and it will still light an LED for more than 2 days. Now you can make your own fancy night light, surprise your friends and have fun.